This is Nick Baisley from Film Sovereign. I'm here at the First Glance Film Festival, and uh, I'm here with one of our uh, uh, distri distribution panelists. It was web web content distribution discussion panel. Who am I here with? Hi, I'm Carter Mason, uh, the founder, co-founder, and CEO of JTS.TV. Just a story. Just a story. Now, tell us a little bit about where the idea and the inception of JTS came from. Well, uh, I, I myself am a creator and a filmmaker. And uh, looking at the financial models that exist, it's really uh, nothing is sustainable. Meaning that if you're making quality scripted narrative, there's not a real model in place to pay your show what it's worth, where you can pay people wages that are fair and make money off your show and do everything that goes into making a quality show. So I was looking at various options, um, such as pitching sponsors, slates of shows, things like that. Uh, stuff I still see as valid options. I personally hate advertising, uh, and I look. I, I looked at the uh, financial model of, say, a premium network like HBO or Showtime. Said, so why can't that work for independent television? Uh, and so now, uh, with the capabilities of watching on set tops, TVs, mobile apps, in addition to websites, why not just distribute it over the internet? And you can have your own TV network where these quality shows that deserve to be found and deserve to be watched without ads. <laughs> <laughs> can be seen affordably. What are some of the challenges of getting viewers to your platform to, to get, keep and then keep them on your platform? Well, I think uh, keeping them is really not a problem. It's so cheap that once people subscribe, they stay a subscriber. Um, the Getting the subscribers, I think there's an attitude of internet content being available for free. Um, and you've got to ask yourself, is it free if I'm spending my time watching ads? And how much is your time worth? And if you're watching a show that has episodes of 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you're watching a 30 second ad before each one, you know, that adds up pretty quickly as chewing up a lot of your time, it takes you out of the story, you're not just hitting next, you're hitting next and then watching something about a Hershey candy bar, you know. Um, and sometimes the same one ad over and over again, you get sick of like, I was checking out shows to find shows for the network. and. Uh, <laughs> I, I'd watch the same ad over and over again. Hulu was a huge uh, offender in that way. Oh, and it was so frustrating just seeing, you know, I hate ads anyway, but then seeing the same ad over and over again, you get to the point where you can time it, hit me and do something, and you're like, oh, that, the ad's probably over, you know. Uh, what about uh, moving, into, you know, where, where is web television going? Is it going back in the home? Is it moving off the computer? Is it going to a set-top box? And will set-top boxes be going away? I mean, not just like in terms of the cable box, but you look at Netflix has a box, Apple TV, Roku, uh, you know, uh, a lot of, you know, stuff like that. Do you see this? Where's the cord being cut to? Well, it, you know, it, what emerges is it's going to be hard to say. Uh, the set-top boxes are going to be around for a while, I think. I, it's just, you know, uh, it'll take a long time for everybody to upgrade and have smart TVs, you know, but eventually that probably is where it will go. Um, and then companies that are focused around making hardware may have to have a different model. They may have to evolve with it. Uh, but I think the future of it, what I call independent television or web television um, is really just integrating with our crazy lifestyles where we are so mobile with apps and at home too, but over the internet, you got laptops and you've got iPads. I just saw a study where um, now more television is consumed. Of the television consumed over the internet, more of it is consumed on a tablet than on a PC or, uh, or Mac. Um, and so, you know, iPad is of course the lion's share, but you've also got Google tablets and, uh, and Windows has a tablet too, I think. Yeah, they do. Um, and <laughs> nobody cares about Windows anymore. But <laughs> Oddly enough, no. <laughs> but, um, so I think that it, more and more, whatever evolves is going to come out of, it's going to be available on all those platforms from the beginning. And not an afterthought for the studio or network or not their secondary distribution, but it's going to become the primary means is that that stuff is available. Like HBO Go. Their shows are available almost immediately uh, over, you know, unless you have Time Warner, which I don't mind saying I wish Verizon Fios or AT&T Uverse or anything but Time Warner was available in my area um, because they don't approve the HBO Go set-top app. Really? They do the iPad, they don't, you know. And I just think those are major mistakes when people are, are, are doing it. But when you see an HBO that can distribute stuff and have it out so you can watch a show on your iPad the day of or the next day, 
like that's where it's headed. Do you see? Do you see eventually films doing more of a day and date type of situation as uh, theatrical becomes more convoluted, more expensive, more you know, uh, also less relevant? Yeah, I can see a lot of things changing with theatrical. I don't think going to the movies will ever completely go away uh, because people like that shared experience of being with people, and you cannot get that or just on the web. Um, but you'll, I think you'll see a lot more in the future of maybe something like a movie is released on the internet and then gets a theatrical release because it was popular, you know, that type of thing in reverse. That the lines and the order of what happens is going to be changing because uh, we're evolving. The way we consume media evolves. The way that uh, people buy it is evolving, and it's just going to change. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by and talking to us. I want to thank you for sharing your insights on the panel as well. So, uh, and, and if anyone again wants to wants to go over to Just the Story, is it what? Give them the JTS T is in Tom. It stands for Just the Story. Uh, JTS TV. Uh, and we just started a few weeks ago, three-day trials. So you can check it out. You can check our programming out. Uh, if you like it, half of your subscription goes to support independent TV creators. The money goes back to the shows. You put money back in, into independent filmmakers and uh, independent content creators' pockets. I'm all for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good one. You too.